Uh, welcome to the show, folks. It's Ed. Free Circle. Like always, I got something to say. Let's get into it, huh? Ah, they say, don't rock the boat. I'm telling you, that's not a good thing. Don't rock the boat. When you don't rock the boat, you're being complacent. You know, rocking the boat gets you a lot of guff. You take a lot of heat if you want to rock the boat. When we talk about rocking the boat, we're talking about stirring up the water. Making things happen. It gets people talking. That's the only way things get fixed. Is when people start talking about issues. Issues that involve them. I've been told... Don't talk to me about politics... Don't talk to me about religion. I'm sorry to say, but those two subjects are the two subjects that rule the world, and every aspect of those two has a great impact on your life. And if you're not willing to get involved you're complacent and whatever happens to you then is your own fault so you had better rock the boat if you do not like what's going on it's your duty to rock the boat America was founded on rocking the boat there's, there's a lot of significant dates in our American history. And all of it is about rocking the bow. On April 19th, 1775, the Battle of Lexington. A British attack at dawn started the War of Independence. That's rocking the bow. July 4th, 1776. The Declaration of Independence was adopted by Congress. That was rocking the bow. On October 19th, 1781, Cornwallis surrendered at Yorktown ending British military action that was rocking the boat on May 25th 1787 the Constitutional Convention opened with a quorum of seven states in Philadelphia to discuss revising the Articles of Confederation. That was rocking the boat. The Articles of Confederation is actually the precursor to the Constitution. And you should look up the Articles of Confederation so you know what these men talked about.
On June 21st, 1788, the Constitution becomes effective for the ratifying states when New Hampshire is the ninth state to ratify. That was rocking the boat. We have been built upon rocking the boat. And yet, here we are, laying in a cesspool of complacency. We have been dumbed down and confused now to the point where we don't want to understand because it all confuses us. It's time to get the Constitution and the founding documents out and start studying them for yourself. You don't need a constitutional expert to tell you what this Constitution means. See, when you start telling people they're constitutional experts, that's when they start giving people power over you because that tells them they know better than you you should never give that power to somebody it's not a good thing it's up to you to pick up the documents read them understand them if you don't know the words look them up in a dictionary understand the words it's hard to do sometimes but really this great nation needs people to start rocking the boat if you see something wrong you should bring that to the light Bring attention to it. A lot of people are complacent because they don't want to rock the boat. Because they don't like confrontation. Confrontation is coming. We are on the brink of a civil war and a world war confrontation will be hitting you right in the face real soon you have nothing to fear but fear itself we are all in this together you know We need to educate people. A well-instructed people alone can be a permanently free people. James Madison. The good sense of the people will always be found to be the best army. They may be led astray for a moment but will soon correct themselves Thomas Jefferson that one right there is very important that quote by Thomas Jefferson let's read that one again the good sense of the people will always be found to be the best army They may be led astray for a moment, but will soon correct themselves. Thomas Jefferson, he's a wise man. Thomas Paine wrote Common Sense. We need to get common sense. Start rocking the boat. 
America was founded on rocking the boat. You can rock the boat and still be respectful of others. It's just simply a matter of what's right and what's wrong. To try to force something upon another is not right. That's why God gave us free will. The Constitution of the United States, its only keepers, the people. George Washington, he was a brilliant man. It's time to get together, start talking, but it's more important that we listen to one another. I always tout, get your voice out. Get your voice out. It matters. But I often forget to tell you, take time and listen to others. That's how we learn. We're a great nation. We have a lot of great men and women and young people. You know, the knowledge today has increased so much that it's loose. People are loose with the knowledge. We need to tighten the cinch up. You don't need to go to college and be college educated. Because really, sometimes I think that has brought more problems to America. We need to start waking up. We need to learn a trade. Learn to use your hands and your mind together. It's up to us to keep America strong and the union together. Time is running out. If we don't wake up, we're going to go through a lot of troubles. It's time to start rocking the boat. Get your voice heard. That's enough for this one. Stand up. Stand hard. Stand proud. And stand a long time. Start rocking the boat, people. Let's make America what it needs to be. Right. Ed, three circle, out.